If you asked other fitness people th this question, they probably would say, Protein put in stuff. Tupperware, <laughs> put your chicken breast in there, put some ice on it. I think that cool, bring a I, cooler. I, I want to differentiate ourselves from that. <laughs> Femke on Twitter, she asks, which snacks, etc., can you bring while traveling by plane for 24 hours and what are good options at airports? Good I question. I love that, yeah, actually. Um, Cause as you guys know, I coach some clients as well. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. And um, I love when my clients send me pictures of like what they're bringing on the airplane mm. and stuff. And I also like to post what, what I bring snacks on airplanes too. It's not going to be like the highest protein stuff usually. Yep. I mean, you can bring like cooked chicken breasts and stuff in a Ziploc baggie, but it's not the most convenient. So what I usually recommend is things like carrot sticks, celery, you know, apples, like fruits that don't have a peel, you know, that are easy to just grab and yeah. eat, stuff like that. Um, nuts are great for traveling with. They have no odor and they don't go bad. Mm -hmm. So you can just put draw, dry raw nuts in a baggie. If you asked other fitness people th this question, they probably would say, Protein put in stuff. Tupperware, <laughs> put your chicken breast in there, put some ice on it. I think that cool. Bring a I, cooler. I, I want to differentiate ourselves from that. And I would differentiate ourselves by that by saying, this is Living Lean 365. It's not temporary. It's not your entire life. And you're not on an airplane every day either, it's hopefully. Like, <laughs> you can get away with having bad food at the airport once in a while, because like you said, you're not in an airport every single day. If you are, if then you, you have make, to make better choices. Are, yeah. But if you're looking for <laughs> protein sources, Beef jerky is a decent protein source. Most airport food restaurants, they do have salad options. There are where healthy choices. You can have there. grilled chicken. There's like smoothie bars. Like yeah. there's, there are options. So just don't limit yourself and get all worked up over it. It's not the end of the world if you actually have a Subway sub or whatever it is. It's just one meal, yeah, guys. Yeah, but don't... do you need like the M&Ms and the Cheetos? No, be no. smart. You know, that's that should be obvious. I would hope that you guys would kind of know which things to obviously not have. Obvi. Obvi, but uh, when it comes to what to have, you know, if the flight is short, you don't need to have any snack. You can just go from breakfast and then have lunch when you get there or something like that. But if it's a really long flight, then just pack little fruits, veggies, nuts, stuff like that, and you'll be fine. Yep. Hey, so in the video, I mentioned some of the work I do with my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients. In the past couple of years, I haven't been taking on as many clients because I don't have as much time for appointments and things like that at being a full-time mama. So I have been using another coach, Coach Jeremy, who I fully trust, love so much. He's done an incredible job with our clients over the years. If you are interested on one-on-one -on -one coaching, he does have spots available for you right now. So if you wanna get started with Live Lean Custom Coaching and get a customized nutrition plan with macros goals everything then I'll hook you up with coach Jeremy all you have to do is click that link in that description box down below and we can get you started right away trust me coaching is an investment that you will never regret you'll learn so much about your live lean journey you'll accelerate your process by far and it will be just one of those things that you're so glad you did click the link down below and get started with coaching if you're interested we can make it happen